I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Saturday, July 10th. The reading is Luke, the first chapter, verses 57 through 80. And now the time came for Elizabeth to be delivered, and she gave birth to a son. And her neighbors and kin kinsfolk heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have named him after Zacharias, his father. But his mother said, No, not so. He shall be called John. And they said to him, None of your kindred is called by this name. And they made signs to his father inquiring what he would have him call. And he asked for a writing tablet, and he wrote, His name is John. And they all marveled. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed. And he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbors. And all these things were talked about throughout all, of the, all, throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit, and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord of God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which we swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life, and you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people in the forgiveness of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, when the day shall dawn upon us from on high, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness till the day of his manifestation to Israel. Word of the Lord. The Melody of Mercy. When I was in seminary, attending chapel during the week was one of my spiritual practices. Reflecting on these services now, I still hear the bubbling of the baptismal font, picture the light through the stained glass windows, and taste the communion bread placed in my hands by my professors. A chapel of congregational liturgical singing was deeply meaningful to me. It felt like home to hold the familiar worship book and sing hymns and liturgy I had sung and heard since I was a child. I distinctly remember the voice of one of my classmates singing the Benedictus, Zachariah's song in today's Gospel reading. Hymnody and liturgy rooted in scripture connect us not only to God but to others throughout history and around the world. The holy melody of God's promise is sung from Abraham and Sarah to Elizabeth and Zachariah and from my grandmother who sang in a rural church choir to me singing in the seminary chapel. The music of the church invites, us, invites all across time, space, race, gender, and all other human categories into the sacred zone. Our prayer. God of all, we give thanks for the gifts of Scripture, hymnody, and liturgy. In the name of Christ, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.